just a forecast of how this video is going to be. I had four hours of sleep last night, just got back from an 8 a.m. business class. Don't know how I'm functioning right now, but we're gonna make a video because I feel like my videos always come out best when I'm like delusionally tired. <clears throat> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we're gonna go with it. Before we get into this raves and rejects video of October, I have very exciting news. If you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you already know this, but I did get a new job at MAC and I am so excited. I got the freelance uh, makeup artist position and I am beyond excited. Let me know if you want me to make a whole other video about that process, like the interview, getting hired, all that good stuff. Um, as of now, I just signed the paperwork yesterday, so in a couple weeks, I will officially begin working at Mac. Update number two. This is what happens when you film videos in a room by yourself, talking to yourself. I began to ombre my hair. If you can see, you've already seen it. If you follow me on Instagram, um, I think I'm going to be adding a little bit more. I didn't document the process. I think I was just going to make a video telling you about how I did it if you were interested. So comment down below if you want a video on how to ombre dye dark hair. Let's get into the October raves and rejects. The first rave of the month. I cannot even begin to say how much I love this candle. It is the Bath and Body, Body Works Mahogany Teak Wood. Oh lord. It smells literally like, you know those men when you walk into an Abercrombie store and you're like, you are too beautiful to be an actual human being and I just want to smell you all day? That's what this candle smells like. It literally smells like a hot Abercrombie man. Why wouldn't you want this candle is my question. Next rave is the Ardell Adore Lashes, and these are the Selena Lashes. I've only seen these at Sally's. I like stocked up because I was scared that they were gonna sell out of these. I'm super picky with my lashes. 120 Demi Wispies don't do it for me. I feel like they look like too long and it, they're just like all over and I feel like I can't blink and weird things happen. These are short, but very voluminous. These were kind of pricey. These were like, I wanna say like $5. I don't know. Try them if you want. Next two things are lip products. This first lip product is actually brand new. I was just in the drugstore um, a couple days ago and saw the whole display. These are the new Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms. And I wouldn't even call it a balm. This thing is like super pigmented um, and it's not that moisturizing. So I don't know why it's a balm. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's super purple. I will swatch it for you guys. Um... Just a matte lip pencil. They're kind of copying, I feel like, the L'Oreal Le Mattes or whatever. Um, but do what you got to do, Revlon, you know. I want to go pick up some more of these shades because I need to spend more money on lip products that I'm going to use, you know. How often do you wear a purple lipstick? Second lip product is this NYX Big and Bold Repulpent. Never knew that was a word. Plumping lip gloss. Definitely think I was reading the French side. I actually got this in a in the influencer Vox box or whatever it's called, that free box where they send out with the samples. And look at how freaking ginormous this stick is. Can we just can we just observe that? Bigger is not always better, but in this case, my friends, it is. This stuff is awesome. I don't even like lip glosses. I rarely wear lip glosses. This is a very faint, glossy finish. It doesn't look pink and shiny like it looks in the tube. It just gives you like a natural gloss. Kind of looks like you're wearing like shiny chapstick. This is in the shade Pleasantly Plump Pink, by the way. The next two things are hair products. I did a whole other video on this. I don't know why, but my last two videos I uploaded never went into subscription boxes, so that's awesome. They have like a super low view count because you guys didn't see them. So check my recent videos. Um, I don't know why they didn't show up, but I do have two new videos. One is a tutorial review on this curling wand, and the other one is a video where I show you how to paint your furniture. So. Check those out. That was a side note. Now we're moving on. The first thing is this shine spray. It is thermal shine for silky smooth and heat protectant. Use the flat iron or hair dryer, whatever. I got this from flatironexperts.com. 
This is the best shine spray I have ever used in my life. Not only because it smells like it smells like it should be this candle's sibling. Oh my god. So once you leave your room, if you still want to, you know, keep the Abercrombie boy thing going, just spray this in your hair and you will smell. I just squirt it into my hand, rub it through the ends of my hair, keeps your hair looking healthy. I think this is like $11 somewhere around there. And check the video because I have all the info for this stuff mentioned in the video. The second thing is this Cortex 4-in-1 curling wand and this has four different um, like heads that you can rotate out. This is the biggest one. I think this is one inch. Might be bigger than one inch. I'm not sure. But this is amazing if you want like the big loose Kim Kardashian waves. It's what I've been using almost every day. Not today. I curled it with a straightener today if you're wondering. Um, but what's awesome about this is not only it has the four different heads, but it shows you like as it's getting hot. I don't know why I think that's so cool, but it literally heats up in like 10 seconds and you can see the degrees like go up. I think that's really cool. The last rave of the month. This is extremely random. Gotta have your green. This is organic baby spinach. I have been obsessed with spinach this month. I don't know what it is. Um, you can just literally do so many things with spinach. It's so healthy for you. It tastes good. What I've been doing is every day I'll just put a huge pile of this, like literally half the bag in a pan, saute it with some olive oil and put garlic salt on it and it tastes amazing. And I'm like, I crave spinach now. If you're looking for like an easy, healthy vegetable to eat, can't go wrong with this. I only have two rejects this month. The first one is not actually you know, physically here with us today because it has already been disposed of because that's how much I didn't like it. But it is the Trader Joe's cookie butter. I don't understand what the fucking big deal is with the cookie butter, people. I really don't. It tastes like mushed up graham cracker. I don't know, people are like flipping tits about this cookie butter, so I had to go out and pick it up. I wanted to like it, I tried really hard to like it, I tried it in various different forms, and I don't understand. It sounds good, right? It's deceiving. The second reject of the month is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. This isn't a complete reject because on one hand I actually I like how it looks in the coverage, but at the same time it creases and just gets very dry and weird consistency. I don't know if it's just me. Let me know your thoughts on this because maybe I just need a better setting powder with it not quite sure that was my october raves and rejects let me know what your raves and rejects were for the month and buy that candle seriously you got to do it why does shit keep just falling i know i've said for like five thousand years that i'm getting my room tour up i think it's happening today i just have to clean my room i think that's it I'm delusional i'm gonna go take a nap watch some Grey's anatomy smell some boy candles have a good day Taylor Gang